What is up, everybody? How are we doing tonight, folks? But how is everyone doing tonight? Hopefully uh, doing well. All right. So I'm just getting everything organized on my end here. A lot of spots are getting taken right now, which is nice. All right, so the double up uh, mix is already filled. So that'll be the first break of the night, just so you guys know. Uh, we have four left in the other double up. We have two left in SBA Muse, three left in Diamond, two left in SBA. <laughs> What's up, Berkey? How you doing? A Carrie Underwood reference is not how I would think I would have started my Sunday night here. That is hilarious. Oh, not much. So just kind of uh, hoping we can get the ball rolling on the brakes. Nice. So we are slowly but surely chipping away at everything, which is beautiful. Slowly but surely. Uh, Chris, yeah, I'm getting the list of the uh, future watch autos. I'll see if I can get that done tomorrow afternoon for you. I'm getting the full list of that, so. I said a lot of stuff I got to get caught up on. That's definitely one of them. So I promise you I will get it done. All right, so 
Again, we are going to start. The first break is going to be that uh, 11 6 2 1. The devil up 11 6 2 1. I'm just going to get the back end stuff organized and ready to go. All right. Uh, Emmerich, you can send PayPal. Send PayPal direct. It's fine. I can mark it paid for you. So if you want to send the 6340 via PayPal, I can mark it paid right away. Get a real phone. All right. So yeah, Randall's will be done in about five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Eleven thousand six twenty-one, and then we will move into the next one. So. What's up, Golden? How you doing, sir? How are you doing today? So, Emmerich, let me know if you're good with that, by the way. If you're good with that PayPal thing, and I can mark a page for you. You got some sun in today. I honestly don't. I don't even know if I went outside. So. Yeah, no worries. I can do that for you. Yeah, that's always the tough one, Day eh, Golden. You gotta sit uh well at least you should, but to distance yourself from family. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. I know for me it's tough too, so All right, so ladies and gentlemen, one left in Spagoo, two left in SPA, three left in Diamond. The double up is filled for Saturday mix. Uh, we have four left in the other double up and then 10 in the Monster. Did you, Mitch? Wow.
That's good, I guess, right? Wow. That was, man, I guess it's, uh, I bet you they're all pretty packed, weren't they? If I had to guess. Jeez. That is a crazy three-hour wait. So I'm going to start the randoms, folks. So best of luck to everybody involved. One second. All right. So good luck, everyone. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,621, three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. I want Moore's got New Jersey. TML's got Dallas. IBJ Anaheim. Mike's got San Jose. Webo 2 Minnesota, Pickles has Boston, TML's got Calgary, Mike Detroit, Barnes got Rangers, Jimmy's got Islanders, Pickles has Buffalo, Manny's got Pittsburgh, Weirs has Washington, Manny St. Louis, Webo 2 Winnipeg, Moore's got Columbus, Weirs is Chicago, Mike's got Philly, IBJ Montreal, Jimmy's got Ottawa, Doug's got LA and Nashville, Barnes got Florida, Moore's got Arizona, Mike Tampa. Uh, Sean Toronto, Jimmy's got Carolina, Vancouver. I want more Ed Money. Sean's got Colorado. All right. Teams are launched in the thread. I'm going to go grab the break. Should be this one, I think. All right. Perfect. So one minute left of trade, and we start the first break. What's up, Card? How you doing, sir? So if anyone wants to finish off the remaining breaks, feel free. We've got one left, two left, and two left.
So I am excited to get the ball rolling tonight. And also four left in the double up. Maybe, you never know. All right, any trace report? Are we ready to rock and roll, folks? Were you really? That's awesome. Good for you. All right, so first break of the night, 11,006. 21. Best of luck, everyone. Here she goes. Here we go, starting off CNC break, 11,621. We have the Saturday mix break. We've got a milestone for the Dallas Stars, Mike Madonna. I would hope so, passenger, yeah. Silver Skates of Konechny. For the Flyers. We've got for the Boston Bruins, Tundra Tandems Dual Jersey to 3 to 9, Lucic and Bergeron. Lucic Bergeron. All right, that's a fun start. We've got a Young Guns for the Vancouver Canucks of Breeze Bois. Portraits, rookies of Rasmus Sandine for the Maple Leafs. A canvas for the Flyers, Kevin Hayes. Are they? That's nice. Volkov, Young Gun for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I think he's got a lot of potential, so it'll be interesting to see how he progresses. Marky, Rookies of Adam Fox. Marky, Rookie Blue of Flurry. Portraits, Rookies of Cody Glass. For the Golden Knights. And a Young Guns of Sam Lafferty for the Penguins. For the Rangers, Capo Caco. Glossy rookie. For the Rangers, Capo Caco. Blue glossy. And we got a Gusev glossy. Slight uh, top right corner. For the Devils, by the way. A little damage on that. Let's get him under here. Aaron Dell, Young Guns for the Sharks. We got an OPG update of Vanek for the Red Wings. Marky, rookie of grade and point for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Canvas for the Penguins, Chris Letang. 
Zane McIntyre, Young Guns, for the Boston Bruins. Portraits, Rookies of Ivan Provorov for the Flyers. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Honka for the Dallas Stars. Game Jersey, Ryan Kessler. Anaheim Ducks. Game Jersey. Miles Wood, Young Guns for the Devils. Canvas for the Maple Leafs, Freddie Anderson. Julius Honka, Retro Rookie for the Dallas Stars. Portraits Rookies for the Ottawa Senators, Nick Paul. Marky Rookie for the Flyers of Provorov. Marky Rookie for the Dallas Stars of Honka. Canvas for the Minnesota Wild, Eric Stahl. Soshnikov, Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Portraits, Rookies of Dickinson for the Stars. Marky, Rookie for the Devils of Nick Lappin. Young Guns, Ryan Pulak for the Islanders. Canvas for the Ottawa Senators, Derek Broussard. Retro Rookie of Ivan Provorov for the Flyers. Portrait of Dvorak for the Coyotes. And Mark McNeil, Young Guns for the Hawks. We've got number 20, purple base, Drew Doughty for the LA Kings. We have a remnants jersey for the Blue Jackets, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Remnants jersey, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Three ninety nine Mario Lemieux Ruby for the Penguins. For the Rangers rookie redemption. We have an Orum for the Philadelphia Flyers Carter Hart. Carter Hart. Two ninety nine Patrick Hornfist. We've got a rookie jersey patch to ninety nine for the Ottawa Senators. Vitali Abramov. Vitali Abramov. And we've got a six ninety nine Mark Shifley. For the Jets. We've got a rainbow of Tyler Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. Marky, rookie of Connor Clifton for the Boston Bruins. Leon Dreisaitl 
thrilling finishes for the Oilers. Marky rookie of Barrett Hayden for the Coyotes. Marky rookie Violet Pixels to three ninety nine for the Anaheim Ducks. Max Jones. Marky rookie of Fabro for the Preds. Texier for the Blue Jackets retro. Marky rookie of Gustin for the Jets. Stamkos best in the world for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Marky rookie of Trevor Moore for the Leafs. And we got a Wallstrom uh, Rainbow rookie for the Islanders. We've got a retro of Kessel for the Coyotes. Violet Pixels, the 399 for the Pittsburgh Penguins of Gensel. What's up, Kyle? How you doing? Marky rookie of Abramov for the Sens. Sunset of Zabinishad for the Rangers. Marky, Ricky of Myers for the Flyers. Grundstrom for the LA Kings. Retro. Uh, Connor, no, I, I haven't seen that yet. We've got a rainbow of Malkin for the Penguins. Some hurdles. Rainbow retro of Hayden for the Coyotes. I'll, uh, I'll happily talk about that after, after this. Just remind me. Marky Rookie of Hinola for the Jets. Retro for the Avalanche of Drew Bauer. Marky Rookie Violet Pixel. Barrett Hayden for the Coyotes. The $3.99. Rainbow of Kotkin Yemi for the Habs. Myers for the Flyers. Retro. And a paling Marky Rookie for the Montreal Canadiens. Pink Matt of Lindholm for the Calgary Flames. Marky Rookie of Fleury for the Habs. Retro Tavares for the Maple Leafs. Marky Rookie of Connor Timmins for the Avalanche. And we've got a Rookie Auto for the Ottawa Senators. Red Prism number to 50, Max Veranu. Red Prism Rookie Auto, Max Verano. Marky Rookie of Kirby Doc for the Hawks. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Suzuki for the Montreal Canadiens. Marky Rookie of McKay for the Leafs. Best in the world for the Rangers of Panarin. Marky Rookie Sunset for the Penguins of Bluger. And a marquee rookie for the Capitals, Martin Fairberry. Ooh, nice. Numbered one of 99. Embedded endorsements for the Oilers. Andy Moog. Embedded endorsements, Andy Moog. Very nice. Number one of 99. Just adds a bit more spice to it, doesn't it? We've got an all-star update of Patrick Kane for the Hawks. We've got an update of Joel Edmondson for the Carolina Hurricanes. Red of Kotkin Yemi for the Habs. Braden Holby exclusive to 100 for the Caps. We've got a red of John Gibson for the Anaheim Ducks. SP Essentials for the Dallas Stars, Miro Heiskinen. Young Guns for the Dallas Stars, Nick Camano.
Spectrum of Alex Ovechkin. Authentic moment of Nikita Kucherov. Tampa Bay Lightning. Update of the Coyotes, Darcy Kemper. Spectrum level one future watch for the Hawks. Dominic Kubalik. We've got, that's probably a rare one actually. A sign of the times autograph for the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Andre Fleury. So that's probably going to be a rare one, no? Spectrum Future Watch of Vitali Abramov, number to 999 for I would think so. SP Essentials of Matthew Kachuk. The Calgary Flames. A red base of Nathan McKinnon for the Avalanche. Authentic winners of Jonathan Taze for the Hawks. For the Golden Knights, Steven Stanupty. Authentic moments of Stamkos for the Tampa Lightning. One every 22-36. Nice. And a Shesterkin Young Guns for the Rangers. That's a very good card then for Vegas. Congrats. We've got for the Devils a number one draft pick. Woo, Jack Hughes. The number one draft pick redemption. And <laughs> that's awesome. Number 13 of 25. Young Guns autograph for the Preds. Kevin Fiala, the ultimate Fiala card. There we go. <laughs> the ultimate Fiala. It's not even Friday and I'm getting those. All right. Let's see how the other breaks are doing, folks. All right. All right. So SB Game U, I believe, is next. Um, just judging by what we got. So, and again, folks, let's get that monster going. There's only ten. Let's get the single digits. There is only 10 left. All right. And no random to do for that one, which is awesome. All right, good luck, everyone. Here we go. 
Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,629. We have the Spagoo. Actually, let's pop it out. 10 box case. Spagoo 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 Sp
Alright, apparently Polly's gone. <laughs> St. Louis Blues, Mackenzie McEachern. For the Oilers, the 105, Leon Dre Seidel. <laughs> I always find that funny when people ask a question, I give them an answer, and then they just go away. We've got, that's a sick card, Draft Day Marks Auto number to 35 for the Vegas Golden Knights, Nick Suzuki. Draft Day Marks Auto. Nick Suzuki. Better year for the Blue Jackets, Cam Atkinson. Showcase for the Anaheim Ducks, Max Jones. Frederick for the Boston Bruins, rookie. For the Vegas Golden Knights to 105, William Carlson. For the Avalanche to 104, Mikko Rantanen. Orange. That's pretty sick. For the Blues, Stanley Cup Finals puck, Jordan Bennington. Stanley Cup Finals puck, Jordan Bennington. That's a pretty big card. For the Red Wing Showcase Dual Jersey of Zadina. For the Islanders Skill of Barzel. And a Hiroshi for the Red Wings. For the Islanders, the 275, Matthew Barzel. For the Coyotes, the 200, Barrett Hayden. For the Panthers, base jersey auto, Aaron Ekblad. Aaron Ekblad. We've got a Relics jersey to 125 of Patterson for the Vancouver Canucks. We've got a Blues number to 125, Ryan O'Reilly, off by one on the jersey number. Who earns? And we've got a Grunstrom for the LA Kings. We've got for the Penguins, the 103, Jake Gensel. For the Calgary Flames, 275, Matthew Kachuk. Number to 38, base rookie parallel, Mario Ferraro. Number to 38 for the San Jose Sharks, Mario Ferraro. We've got a base rookie auto, Trevor Moore, for the Maple Leafs. Banner year for the Wild, Matt Dumba. We've got for the Coyotes, Skills, Jersey of Keller, and a Pro Corcoran for the LA Kings. Two more boxes to go. For the LA Kings, Tobias Bjornfont, orange rookie to 119. For the Devils, the 112, Nikita Gusev. That's sick. For the Anaheim Ducks, number to 49, inked rookie sweaters, patch auto, Max Jones. 
Max Jones, number 249. For the Dallas Stars, Joel Esperance. Rookie Jersey Auto. Relics blend to 125 of Pekka Rennie for the Preds. Senny Shin for the Boston Bruins. Who we've got for the Panthers to 113, Josh Brown. Orange. For the Buffalo Sabres, Victor Olofsson. For the Islanders, Anders Lee. Base auto. For the Chicago Blackhawks, Frameworks, Alex Debrinket. Alex to bring it. Blue Jackets All-Star Weekend, Cam Atkinson. And we've got a Pierre-Luc Dubois for the Blue Jackets. There we go. There you go, folks. Cut all these out. Someone out, and then I got to uh, I'll come back in here and crush those freaks. So, give me one second, folks. I'll be back. All right. And I was going to say, you know what, people, and I was literally going to address that. If I don't understand the fixation of why everyone wants everyone to be the same, we absolutely do things differently, but we also do it for a reason. So, you know what the funny thing is, though? And I've said this conversation before. And I have no problems having these conversations. And by the way, guys, I'm just uh, updating the back end stuff. We have a lot of orders going. Is in all honesty, at least in my opinion, it's so much easier, which it's already been proven to scam people doing the front face view or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how you want to call it. It's so much easier to do it that way. Like how many people in our industry have been caught scamming? And again, most people do it that way. So I'm not saying it's all the people who do it that way. Of course, that'd be stupid of me to say. 
But I'm saying how many people have had that issue because it's that way? Our angle, for example, you literally can see every single item on the desk, all the cards. Like when I open a pack, you see it. There's no way that it would be. Uh... And Tyler, I got your EMTs, buddy. Like the other way that has been proven, there's been several massive high profile cards that have tried to be stolen that way. I just amazed that people like that. But yeah. Also, with 47 different angles, yeah. No, but you know what I don't understand? I'll give you a good example, okay? If here's five cards in front of you, and this is how a lot of the uh, scammers have done it, I'm going to show you something cool. See if my camera goes far, okay? Let's try this out. Okay, so there's five cards, right? The problem is, said person comes up, he shows you this card. If this card right here is a very, very, very big card, I just prop this up and look, look at this card. It's amazing. You don't see anything going on on the other end. And all of a sudden, there's one less card in the back. That's where I have a problem. <laughs> and that has been, uh, and I know some people might say, if that's even possible, yes, it's happened many times. There's actually quite a few breakers have been caught doing that. No big, 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 big boys, of course. So, to me, it's just, uh, I feel like it's more of a, obviously, we have our own thing. We, we, we do what we want to do. But I just, I just don't understand how people don't see the potential of that. What's the hurdles? Well, you need good capital. <laughs> you need a good base, and you need people to like you. And what I mean by like you is you have to build good rapport in our industry. Kyle, the biggest thing that a lot of people try to do is they try to go after the big boys right away. You're generally not going to win that way. And that's not being rude. If you open up a mini Walmart beside a big Walmart and you try to spit on the big Walmart, they will crush you. And they will make sure they try to crush you. Um, do things the right way. I would say nowadays that's a huge hurdle. A lot of people like to, whether they think it's right or wrong, a lot of people try to challenge Upper Deck, for example, or Panini. You're not going to win that battle. I'm sorry. As much as you think that you're doing the right thing, if Upper Deck wants it done certain ways, respect it and do it properly. Um, but honestly, it's, it's building a base and having the money to back it up because you need to invest in the right products. And it's not cheap to own hot, like lots of cards and customers want to come in and they want to have good selection. But, and while we're talking about selection, by the way, is there anything that you guys want to post up quickly? Because a lot of our breaks are filled other than the monster and the uh, chancer, but I want to see if there's anything else you guys want up that you guys can think of like just quickly right now. Uh, we're going to give SPX Sean a bit of a, a breather. We actually posted one up a couple days ago and nobody took a spot. So we're going to have a little breather on that. Maybe a, I'm trying to think, uh, maybe a premiere, uh, 1718 premiere case. Did you guys like that one? Three, four Parker's rookie. What a good product that was. I love that. All right, so you know what? Maybe I'll do an SBA then. Just give me a second, folks. That hurt you bad. 
Well, I said I'm going to post up uh, the SBA either way, but that seems to always be a very uh, fast moving one. And I will do a premiere. So, Mitch, I will be posting most likely tomorrow. It might be ready for tomorrow. I got to do it late, late tonight. I just have to modify some of the pricing in it, Mitch, because the as an SBA has like gone up in price. So I got to kind of correct some of the pricing. Um, but I will be posting another eight box case, hopefully for tomorrow. Again, no guarantees, but. If I can get it done tonight quick enough. So definitely on that. And as I said, I will post a premiere because worst case scenario, if it doesn't go today, it will go tomorrow. And then I'll start on the next couple breaks. Leap Ultimate was, yeah, we only got one in. We, uh, I'm going to try to bring in some other stuff for sure. Definitely will try. So here's another one, by the way. I want to know some opinions as I'm posting the break. Just so you guys know, whenever I have conversations like this, it's not like I'm just avoiding the uh, other breaks. What do you guys think? And I want honest reactions because I personally love the idea of it. Obviously, I'm biased. But I also know the value and what you could get and how, how like, the A, the chances of even getting it, okay? What do you guys think about the idea of a – now, obviously, I classify it as a mega chancer. A mega chancer is 250 spots, okay? There would be some small kickers, so keep in mind on that. It's not just one and done, but there would be some small stuff. What about if we did an NT basketball box and we gave it away to somebody in the chancer? It would have to be around, like, the $35 to $39 range, again, just when you have that many items, the shipping costs, the taxes, um, the fees. I personally think that I, I think that it's going to go very well. I just think the allure of just say $39 to win a basically a $6,000 box, $7,000 box, Canadian, of course. Personally, I think that is a beast. But do you guys think we would have enough interest in traffic to get one or two of those done? Uh, well, the problem is, Mitch, again, can after duties, taxes, and all that fun stuff, you're literally looking at between about six and seven thousand dollars my cost on a box. Just to give you a bit of a reference. So the problem is, what is there? Ten cards in there? You would be talking about seven hundred dollars a spot at my cost. If you honestly think we could fill that and someone getting a base card for seven hundred bucks, power, man. I, I I personally think that's as balls to the wall as you could get, but. The only other one I thought about that I fit, I think I could pull off is like it'd be between about 70 or 80 bucks, but a serial number break, 1 to 99. Oh, Mitch, I get what you're saying. So I don't mind that idea. I'm curious what other people's takes on that are. The only thing is that I'm essentially forcing someone not to win a sealed box, which is a pretty big, 
surprise. Because let's say hypothetically I open up the box and the box is just god awful. Hypothetically. I I in my opinion, Mitch, I think whoever wins that box is gonna sit on that box and not sell it. Or they might open it because they got it and it's so cheap that they don't really care what they get. Correct. Yeah, I don't mind that idea. We are trying to look at a way that we could actually open one because I, I think that would be freaking awesome. But in a generality, do you guys like the concept of that for the most part? And I am going to start the diamond case to say, guys, nope. Like, I know Driftwood said he, would, he likes it. Is there anyone else who hates the idea of it, loves it? Because again, I just try to figure out cool ways to give you guys opportunities to get stuff that pretty much most people would never be able to get. Yeah, that's the only thing is I've never done a basketball one that that's large. Now, I have done, Mitch, I have done other breaks of ch uh, chancers of basketball, and they've all gone, but all the way smaller, like 30 to 50 spots. So that is a big difference I agree with. Well, that's the other thing, Drift, is I'm trying to think. I don't think it's a hard selling point to let people know you could get a $100,000 U.S. card. It's just, it's one of those ones you don't want, uh, you just don't want it to stall at like 180 spots. That's, but who knows? Here we go. Starting off CNC break number 11,628. We've got the diamond five box break. And Mitch, you also should know from all the years, I don't mind trying things and failing. I'd rather have tried and failed than not tried and not know. So I feel like we're going to go ahead and try it. So you guys will have that to semi look forward to. We've got a uh, $2.99 carry price for the halves. I just think the opportunity to get a box of that magnitude is insane. So might as well give some sort of opportunity to get it. We've got for the Ottawa Senators, $2.49 Shabbat. Yeah. We've got number 299. Triple diamond for the Red Wings. Philip Zadina. Philip Zadina. We've got an all-star of Blake Wheeler. All-star Blake Wheeler for the Jets. We've got a Grundstrom to 349 diamond debut for the LA Kings. And we've got for the Philadelphia Flyers, 399 Philip Myers. All right, so other than Mitch and Driftwood and a few others, does anyone not like the idea? Would most of you guys maybe grab a spot or two, do you think, in that? Just at the opportunity. Because I've been trying to think of other ways that I could get one done for you guys. Exquisite material patch to 49 of Barkov for the Panthers. Big Panthers patch. Let's go throw the box. We've got for the Blue Jackets 249 Seth Jones. Yeah, Be Gold is pretty much no other way I could do that, right? That's a problem. Sparkling scripts of Ben Bishop. Mitch, I, I've seen that one, so that is definitely a possibility. We've got a Team Logo Jumbos, Cody Glass. The only other option is, like, I don't want to get to 75 bucks at 125 spots gold, and that's the issue, right? 349 Diamond Debut Relics, Zadina. Sedina. And that is sick. 
a diamond cutters for the penguins mario lemieux mario lemieux diamond cutters what's up sir how you doing We've got for the Ottawa Senators, the 2-9, Eric Brandstrom. Excuse it. For the Minnesota Wild, Eric Stahl, 2-49. Sick. Apparently this is going to be the team of the night, I think. Team Logo Jumbo's autographs to 99. Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Cody Glass. Team Logo Jumbos, Phil Housley for the Buffalo Sabres. For the Winnipeg Jets, number 25, Premium Relics, Blake Wheeler. Blake. Wheeler, and we've got a Hardware Heroes of Dirk Graham to 99 for the Hawks. Dirk Graham. For the Avalanche, Makar, extra exquisite. Extra exquisite. Uh, well, Norm, that would be losing a lot of money, so I don't think that would work for me. For the Penguins, 249, Jake Gensel. We've got for the Calgary Flames, number 99, Noah Hannafin. Noah Hannafin. Team Logo Jumbos, Capo Caco. Capo Caco for the Rangers. We've got a goal, Hall of Fame rings. For the Calgary Flames, Joe Neuendijk. Joe Neuendijk. And number 299, Spectrum Rookie for the Hawks, Kirby Doc. Kirby Doc. Yeah, the logos are some some people love them, some people hate them. I, I think they're awesome personally. I have no problems with them at all. 249 Barrett Hayden for the Coyotes. They sell so much better than people realize. It's hilarious. We've got for the halves 249 Patrick Waugh. Patrick Waugh. We've got number to 25, Triple Diamond Retro for the Avalanche, Patrick Waugh. Patrick Waugh, Triple Diamond Retro. Sick. We've got a championship banners the 99 of Mike Madonna. Mike Madonna. Triple Diamond Retro to 249 of Zadina for the Red Wings.
And we've got a diamond might of Evgeny Malkin for the Penguins. 99. There we go. Yeah, Hammer, I'm not opposed to trying either. Obviously, there's no, like, at the end of the day, I don't have any vested interest of how it happens. Um, the only reason I like the Chancer idea, for example, again, my personal opinion, is I like the idea that somebody can walk away with basically a $7,000 box for $39. It, to me, it's just such a rare occurrence, whereas I, I love opening, but obviously if I do the serial number one, it's, you know, if it's a horrible box, I feel bad for everybody involved. But I know obviously both have their positive and negative aspects to it. So there's no wrong answer in this uh, this one. To be honest, I'm not going to lie, I was going to try both. So there would be options for both. Yeah, as I said, I'm to me, I, I like trying, and as I said, I would rather fail and try than not try it. So the two that I was leaning towards was the um, the big chancer spot at about $39 hypothetically. And then the uh, and then the 99 serial number one. So I had both those kind of pegged off. Um, so you might see that, honestly, they might see that this week. We're going to kind of see, I'm going to talk internally with the staff, see what we want to do, how we want to break it. And don't get me wrong, Hammer, I would absolutely freaking love to open up, um, because Zion Live, I would freak out for that. I know I have, uh. I have a couple of my bigger guys in uh, locally, and I have a couple of big guys around Canada that have ordered a couple cases of it. So I'm hoping they get some in cool beats. Generally, I sell a lot of their big stuff. So that would be freaking awesome to be able to be have that, at least to see it in person, right? So, I, you know what? I was going to say, I know I had it on my watch list for tonight. I was curious. I didn't see what it officially ended at if it is over. But, man, is that crazy. So, as I said, maybe next week, folks, you guys will see that. Mitch, you know what the funny thing is? It's actually, and I will give credit to them. Everyone follows Blowout, which is good. But the funny thing is, there's several guys who are old, like already have offered six hundred thousand for it. Blowout's just smart because they know they have an immediate buyer that they can probably make fifty to hundred grand very, very quickly. <laughs> Either way, in my honest opinion, I, I was a little surprised the card got near 100 grand. I thought the card should be around like the 50 to 70. Uh, and again, I have very limited basketball knowledge for anyone who's sitting there and wants to debate with me on that. I don't really, really pay attention. But uh, it's exciting.
Yeah, so that's pretty good. Ten thousand dollar fine industry. Driftwood, that's exactly as I said. I don't think there's one way that I'm sitting there and going won't fill. I, I do like both um, the methods of both of them. Obviously, certain people will like one more than the other. That is completely respectable and fine. But as I said, that is most likely what we're going to do. And you got to think, 75000 US, right? That is basically close to uh, – that's basically 100000 Canadian. So, yeah. Zion Logoman is, is probably close to half a million. Which is freaking nuts, but so that is why I'm saying might as well just try, right? <laughs> it will be fun. And eight feet, how you doing, sir? All right, eleven six seven two or eleven six two seven. I know it's hilarious to me, but hey, the buyers are out there. The buyers are out there. It's too funny, but. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,627, uh, four box. Um, Dan deals with all that, so I will know Monday. Yeah. We've got a Jack Eichel Red. And number 710, Future Watch, Kevin Stenlin. Harass the robot. <laughs> Update of Coleman. So, yeah, expect that next week, guys. And, again, I can assure you that is definitely not something that we will have on hand very often. <laughs> Update All-Star of Landis Goggs. Spectrum of Braden Point. Spectrum Level 2 Future Watch of Adam Fox. 99. Moments of Bennington. Pasternak Update. For people who say that's that crazy, I actually don't think it's that crazy. McDavid does go for a 30-35, right? Clegg, Young Guns. And basketball, the reach is a lot bigger than hockey. A lot more um, different collectors. Panarin, SP Essentials. Exactly. That's the thing. So after taxes, fees, and you bring it cross-border, Tuka Rask moments. You're looking about 7,000 Canadian. Vasilevsky Red. SP Essentials of Mantha. Yep, the Cup RPA. Future Watch Auto number 536, Zach McEwen. Six. Six spot. Zach McEwen. We've got an all-star of Stamkos. Um, yeah, basically. Moments of Lundqvist. Ricard Raquel Red. SP Essentials of Matt Murray. We've got a sign of the times of Kotkin Yemi. Sign of the time draft version. Kotkin Yemi. Really, Mitch? It's, that'll be interesting to see. The thing that will surprise me is, in all honesty, anytime there is the ability to get a card of that value, I, I this product's going to keep going up down the road. Wow.
Authentic moment of Sidney Crosby. SP Essentials of Kotkaniemi. Jason Zucker update. Cam Atkinson All Star. We've got a red of McDavid. SP Essentials of Miro Heiskanen. Yeah, we're going to do a couple versions of it, most likely. Moment of Jack Hughes. Just to have the ability to do it, it's kind of cool. Red of Dylan Larkin. Chesterkin, Young Guns. SP Essentials of Matthew Kachuk. We've got, I'm nailing the spot lately, number 630 of 999 for the zero spot of Makar. A perfect one to get graded, by the way. Future Watch Auto Makar, 630 of 999. Congrats to the zero spots. We've got a redemption of Dante Fabro, which will be between everybody. All-star update of Patrick Kane. We've got an update of Tristan Jari. Authentic moment of Kucherov. Uh, this should be, yeah. Red of Giroux. Spectrum of Alex Ovechkin. And a Spectrum level one of Trent Frederick. As I said, Dan deals with all the stuff on that. And uh, as I just said, I don't. So. Sorry, what do you mean, Mitch? I do. I'm very confused on that. Authentic moments of Alex Ovechkin. Sign of the time. So it's an update. So the update non-numbered. Arturs Urbe and a red of Matthew Barzel. Correct. It's randomed only between people that have zero to nine spot. Spectrum of Malkin. We've got a acetate young gun. Of Vladislav Gavrikov. Vladislav Gavrikov, a young guns acetate. Yeah, the any redemptions are always random to the numbers that are applicable to it. Obviously, presuming it's numbered. All star of Latang. Update of Stevenson. Matthew Barzol, all-star update. Young Guns of Trennan. What's up, Greg? How you doing? We've got a red of Truba. SP Essentials, Carey Price. 
Authentic winners, Noah Dobson. Authentic moments of Ryan Paling. I'm doing good, thanks. SPS Centrals of Alex Debrinket. Sign of the Times, Anders Lee. Future Watch number 724. So the four spot, Zach Senishin. Update of Georgiev. Authentic moment of Mick David. And a Ben Bishop red. Uh, what do you mean the numbering on the... Ex uh, the first 50 in the Future Watch autographs are inscribed. So there's technically numbers 1 to 50 will be the inscribed versions. Number 51 to 999 are the non. We've got a sign of the times of Dirk Graham. Yep. SPS Centrals of McDavid. Alec Martinez update. Red, that's pretty sick. Red of Kerry Price. And number six of ten. Sign of the Times trap. So let's go to the number six spot. Wendell Clark. Six of ten. Wendell Clark. Six. Spectrum of Blake Wheeler. Young Guns numbered eight. Of 100, Adam Brooks. Young Guns exclusives. Man, this four boxer is killing it. SPS Centrals of Mark Andre Fleury. Literally, it's pretty much had almost everything in it. Matthew Kachuk, Red. Acetate, Young Gun, and Makar Future Watch. The 6 of 10. Damn. Authentic moment of Tavares. Future Watch Retro, number 97, Clem Costin. Authentic Moment of Alex Petrangelo. Update of Justin Falk. Authentic moment of Nikita Kucherov. Update of Tristan Jari. Jason Zucker. Authentic winners of La Mer. Joaquin Blischfeld, Young Guns. And a Gensel Red for the Penguins, or does matter the team. The random coming up. That was a very, very nice four boxer. All right, so time to do the one now uh, random. All right, best of luck, everyone. Here we go. Here we go, 11,627. Everything three times. So one multi-random. One, two, three. 
Yeah, number three gets it. Congrats. All right. Let me get everything organized here. Again, sorry, folks. Just seeing where we are. All right. Let's see where we are in the breaks then. All right. So right now it looks like the monster's still at 10 left. And it's funny because I know when we uh, had this debate a couple weeks ago about it's easier to have a guaranteed prize in there. Apparently not. I've done it for the last two weeks and both the last two weeks. We're way slower than the previous ones. So there you go. Proof is in the pudding. All right, looks like this seven box double up is ready to rock and roll. So give me one second. The double up is the next one filled. Yes, sir. All right, here we go, 11,618. Now we'll get some water. Here we go, 11,618. Three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Chabs has New Jersey Tiger Rangers. Tyler 
has Arizona, Sean, Islanders, Zims, Boston, Shepard, St. Louis, Sims, Anaheim, Chabs has Carolina, Cesar has got Ed Money, Neely's got Chicago, Philly, Chabs, Tampa, Tang's got Toronto, P123, Vancouver, Tang, Ottawa, Barnes got Buffalo, Tyler, Colorado, Barn, Winnipeg, Eight Feet Down, Flo, Rida, and Washington, Thad, Columbus, Chabs has LA, TJ, Detroit, Cesar's got Calgary, Thad, San Jose, P123, Nashville, Sean, Pittsburgh, Tiger, Dallas, TJ, Minnesota, Shepard, got Montreal. All right. Teams are launched in the thread. And of course, if you guys want the monster to get moving, I am all for it. All right. And by the way, speaking about chancers, if somebody wants to win a case, I can promise you when you see this product, you guys will like it. But this case chancer, and also just an FYI, if somebody, if we fill this in the next two days, so Monday and Tuesday, this would be shipped out pretty much right away and you'd get it on release. Just so you guys know on the, on the case. I'm going to go grab uh, some water. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Yeah, as I said, that ice case chancer, I think, is very, uh, I don't know if it's got kind of buried and people didn't see it, but it kind of blows my mind the value again. It's definitely a potential, which is really, really cool. So, perfect.
Yeah, like we'd prefer obviously to, to get it filled before the product comes out so we can ship it out. You guys can have it as close to release date as possible, but obviously I can only uh, only push so much. So here's what I will do. I will make you guys a pretty, in my opinion, in my opinion, a pretty badass offer. If that chanter fills tonight, I will make it 14 total boxes instead of 12 total boxes. So right off the bat, I'm going to add two additional boxes if we can get a fill tonight. That is my uh, offer to get that one moving for you guys. Said no rush though, it's gonna go. I know that. At this point, it's just a matter of time. So, all right, best of luck. Eleven thousand six one eight. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. The double up 11,618. We've got the. Why is it the double up? There we go. But we're going to start with the, the tin and then we're going to move our way to the boxes. I hate these tins. We've got a canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Victor Hedman. <laughs> Marky Rookie of David Gustafson for the Jets. Retro of Zuccarello for the Wild. Young Guns for the Boston Bruins, Jack Studnika. Portraits Rookies of Connor Bunneman. Rookie Jersey, this is probably a rare one, of Makar. Rookie Jersey, Makar. I know it's always tough to get the big boys, so that's pretty damn sweet. Canvas for the Blues of Braden Shen. Young Guns, Eric Brandstrom. And we got a marquee rookie of Nick Camano. For the Devils, Gusev. Nikita Gusev. For the Coyotes, Barrett Hayden. Gold base rookie. And a Kirby Doc for the Chicago Blackhawks. Kirby. We've got a Young Stars jersey to 99 for the Boston Bruins. Andrew Raycroft. Young Stars. For the Maple Leafs, sweet beginnings, the 499 jersey, Ian White. I think he's a very underrated player that went under the radar there. And we got a dual jersey for the Caps of Mike Green and Backstrom. Green and Backstrom for the Capitals. All right, fifteen sixteen. All 
All right, McDavid, Canvas, or Eichel, Young Gun. Show yourself. Retro of Brower for the Blues. Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. Brock McGinn. Why not both? Marky Rookie for the Boston Bruins of Tyler Randall. I like that mentality. Why not both? Jake Vertanen Portrait Rookies for the Canucks. We've got a young gun, which will be rated between Buffalo, Montreal, Michael Fukali. Nikolai Ehlers Portraits for the Jets. Marky Rookie of Connor Breakley for the Panthers. Derek Forbort, Young Guns. For the LA Kings. Nathan McKinnon Canvas for the Avalanche. Marky Rookie of Gold Oven for the Sharks. So one person suggested to me, somebody just texted me, by the way. How many of you guys would be interested if we did a one-box premiere of each year, 15, 16, 16, 17? Kobatar LA Kings Canvas. So it'd be like a, a double up of a two years. Louis Domingue, Young Guns for the Coyotes. Any interest in that? No interest? Don't care? This guy is following me tonight. Rookie Materials, Kevin Fiala. To be honest, I haven't even looked it up. My guess would be between like the 65, 75 for a double up. But I, again, I haven't looked it up to be fair. Marky Rookie Rainbow Jordan Wheel. So anyone else interested in that? Just kind of throwing out random oddballs. Max McCormick, Ottawa Senators, Young Guns. We've got an Andreas Athanasiu for the Red Wings. I feel like that'd be pretty pricey, though, eight feet. Abdul Cater, Canvas. You're basically at about 350 bucks all in a box, so how would you break that down? Brower update. Portrait of Shore for the LA Kings. Uh, I know you would be, it's just would we have others? That's the problem. Marky Rookie for the Blues of Edmondson. We've got a canvas of Bugstad. Retro rookie of Matthias Janmark. <laughs> and a Daniel Sprung for the Penguins. I love the enthusiasm, though. I love the enthusiasm. So only one person likes a dual premiere, is that correct? Marky Ricky Rainbow of Noah Dobson for the Islanders. Marky Ricky of Grunstrom for the LA Kings. Calder Frontrunners of Branstrom for the Suns. Marky Ricky of Boakfist. And Amiro Iskinen Blue Retro. To 149 for the Dallas Stars. Marky, rookie of Olafson for the Sabres. Retro of Adam Fox for the Rangers. Best in the world of Lungfist for the Rangers. Marky, rookie of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. Johnny Goudreau for the Calgary Flames Rainbow. Retro of Kachuk, Calgary Flames. Nope, and nope. 
We've got a marquee rookie of Emil Bemstrom for the Jackets and a Marchesso for the Vegas Gold Knights Sunset. Actually, Mitch, we do have a uh, marquee rookie of Les Browns for the Stars, Breeze Bois for the Vancouver Canucks. We do have, I believe we just got in yesterday or today, or I don't even know how we got it. Rainbow of Leonard for the Hawks. A Leaf Vault, I think it is, where it has the 10 items in there, which is really cool. Marky, rookie of both fits for the Hawks. Rasmus Sandin for the Maple Leafs. I could maybe try that one if you guys really wanted to try it. Marky, rookie of Texier for the Jackets. Nico Heischer for the Devils, retro. Rainbow of Stepan for the Coyotes. Matthew Barzell for the Islanders. Marky Rookie Pink of Morgan Frost for the Flyers. Pro Corcoran for the LA Kings. Yeah, it'd be about like 150 or 160 bucks a spot. Marky Rookie of Frederick for the Boston Bruins. McKinnon for the Avalanche. But I think that'd be pretty sweet. Marky Rookie of Dobson for the Islanders. Rookie Auto Rainbow. Nick Suzuki for the Montreal Canadiens. Nick Suzuki. Rainbow of Ekblad for the Panthers. No, it would be... I'd have to figure it out. Mark Eric and Mara Ferrara for the Sharks. Best in the world of McDavid for the Oilers. Only 10 people, Jeff. Only 10 people. Mark Eric of Hughes for the Canucks. Sam Max Jones, Sunset Parallel for the Ducks. The Memorabilia Vault, yes. Marky, rookie of Jack Hughes for the Devils. Nico Heischer, Red Prism for the Devils. You're down? Okay, maybe I'll post that one after. What I, I don't know how I would do it. I think I'd have to do it uh, a draft style, to be honest. So maybe I'll post it. We'll do a draft style of it. What's the memorabilia? I have no idea. We've got for the Oilers, Cooper Marody. Cooper Marody. Literally, Vault could be anything. That's the beautiful thing about Vault. They have literally tons of different celebrities, jerseys, um, athlete, everything. So. We've got an Orum Patrick Kane for the Hawks. We've got a 399 Henrik Sedin. We've got a dual jersey patch, number 65 of Zabinishad. Zabinishad. Yep, I ran him three times for the draft order. We've got a six ninety nine gets lap for the Ducks. It was ten items though, right, Mitch? Ninety nine Kopitar for the LA Kings. Dual jersey to one sixty five of Jake Ensel. Yeah, yeah. I gotta. I'll text Dan after. Like, I have to make sure we have it though. Three ninety nine red of Carter Hart. And we got a Coyotes Rookie Redemption. I don't mind the draft as long as all the people are understanding and they're here. And I think most of you guys would be, which means it would go nice and quick. We've got a uh, gold number to 50 of Sagan for the Stars. Holy moly, this guy is following me. A portrait, and these are from the same case, which is hilarious. A portrait's rookie's auto number to 15, Kevin Fiala. Kevin Fiala portraits. That is hilarious. That is the second Fiala big auto that I've hit already. Fiala is everywhere. 
All right, so give me one second, folks. I'm going to text Dan. I'm going to see uh, how we're looking. And I can post up a very kind of broad uh, broad thing on it. So give me one second, folks. How many people realistically would be interested right now? Again, presume it's between about 150 to 175. Just you only use that. Uh, Mitch, I could pretty much guarantee you if I post it and it fills within 10 minutes, it'll go tonight <laughs> and it will go very quickly. Like right now I'm just looking at, uh, potentially building it. I might just build it either way because if we have a few people willing to take one or two spots, I just got to make sure that, uh, we actually have it before I post it, but yeah. So give me a few seconds, folks. So I'm going to launch it. If this is a tease. I don't want a tease. It just takes me a few minutes, guys, because I got to modify uh, some of the stuff we have in the back. So right now, if you guys want to grab some spots in the breaks. I don't even know if we have a picture of it, to be honest. Oh, we actually do. Sick. All right, and just to give everyone a warning, eight feet, I'm hoping you're listening. <laughs> and I actually don't mean this rude to anyone. Just so you guys know, because we do not know the items that will be in here. Okay, we do not know the items that will be in here. There most likely will be additional shipping costs to some people. We obviously will keep it limited. But judging by how, for example, it could be anything from like jerseys and helmets and stuff like that. Like, we don't know who's joining this, so if you're... Just so you know, there might be additional shipping charges. So do not join it if you absolutely are against that or whatever reason. <laughs> Jerk. I'm just making sure, 8 feet, you are well aware. I like being open and upfront. So just making everyone aware. And don't get me wrong, just so you guys know, if we can try to absorb it, we will. So some of it, like, for example, if it costs 15, 20 bucks, like we might try to eat 15 of it or 10 bucks of it. So we'll help you guys out the best of our ability. But the good news is every single spot will get an item 
And as I said, some of these are very unique, cool things. I honestly am going to be opening it. I probably will be relying on you guys uh, to let me know what's big and what's not. Because being straight up, I will have no idea on some of them. All right, so local pickup is a beautiful thing, isn't it? All right, yeah, so like if you're local pickup, that, that obviously is the price, but so there you go, folks. It should be launched. It is freaking cool. A guaranteed Walter Payton. <laughs> That's hilarious. So here you go. Now I got to get the other spots uh, moving. And Mitch, if you are on a time schedule, I will get this done. Uh, presuming it fills, I will get this done within that time period for you, I promise. Because right now, I think all we would have is the SBA break in front of it, which is about a 10-minute break. Just so you know. No, no, I know who Walter Payton is. No worries, that's, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to grab the boxes for the 631. <laughs> Taylor Swift, wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be fun? All right, so 11,631. I'll be right back. I'll go grab it. The Taylor Swift song was so crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 11,631. And again, if you guys want the vault to go, let's get it going. But good luck, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Starting off CC break number 11,631. We have the SPA four box. It's like you let your keep. That's awesome. Oh, you know what? The cool thing about these is that you know you're going to get something, and it's always kind of cool to get something, right? Zucker update. And sometimes there's some really cool stuff that's really, really rare. Moments of Kucherov. All-star update of Atkinson. All-star update of Patrick Kane. A red of Eric Stahl. Authentic winners of La Mer. We've got a retro future watch number 113. So three spot, Zach McEwen. Zach McEwen. Yeah, see, I knew, uh, I knew it would go. 489 Giovanni Smith, so the nine spot. Authentic moment of Jack Hughes. Retro sign of the times. 
Morgan Frost, and a red of John Tavares. That was quick. Spectrum of Ryan O'Reilly. We've got a retro future watch number 222, Nick Suzuki. Number two spot. Authentic moments of Zdeno Chara. Young Guns, Adam Brooks. SPS Central, the Besser. Bill, weren't you one of the ones that like helped me get this going? <laughs> and you missed out. Update of Toffoli. SPS Central of Crosby. And a Keller Red. I know. Well, I appreciate your uh, your help. It obviously worked. Everyone uh, followed suit, apparently. What's this Leaf product? We're going to find out very shortly. <laughs> We've got an update of Kemper. Moments for the Blue Jackets. Update All-Star of Dubnik. In all honesty, David, unless two or three people take a spot or two soon, I, I feel like tomorrow project. Adam Werner, Young Guns. Just being honest on that. We've got a red of Monaghan. Jack Eichel, SP Essentials. Authentic winners of Noah Dobson. Again, if a couple of people take some spots, it'll move. Roman Yossi, All-Star. Brown, how you doing, sir? Moment of McDavid. Georgiev update. Tired? Long day at work or moment of Bennington? A red of Eric Carlson. Moment of Rask. All I ask, by the way, if anyone is not going to be here for the draft, let me know, please. Wallman, Young Guns. Because obviously, I'm just going to kind of pick random stuff. Lungfist All-Star. So I would appreciate it if you're in it. Let's try to stay here. <laughs> A Red of Truba. The draft is right after this mark. Like right after this break. SP Essential of Panarin. And an update of Coleman. Uh, card, yes. Right after this break, it will be up. I will go grab it, I will open it, and then I will uh, do the draft. Red of Shifley. Uh, do we get no auto on that one? SPS Central is the best. Yeah, it's possible. Possible on that one. All star update of Cam Atkinson. Authentic moments of Tuka Rask. We've got an update of Linus Allmark. Authentic moments of Lungfist. All-star, uh, or sorry, this is an update of Stevenson for the, the team. 
Moment of Carey Price. Igor Shesterkin. Young Guns. Update of Patrick Kane, All-Star. We've got a red of Logan Couture. Authentic moment of Tuka Rask. We've got a base limited auto, Tyler Bertuzzi. Tyler Bertuzzi, base limited auto. Future watch auto number to 854, Mackenzie McEachern. The number four spot gets that. SPS Central, Brad Marchand. Future watch number 939, Cameron Hughes. The nine spot. And a limited red of Duncan Keith. Spectrum of Marner. And a future watch spectrum level two of Igor Shesterkin. That's pretty sweet. Level two. Igor Shesterkin. Well, level two spot's going to do very well. We've got a red of Matthew Barzel. Spectrum of Stamkos. Spectrum level one of John Marino. We got a patchy patchy. A future watch patch auto number 51, Teddy Bluger. The one spot, Teddy Bluger. Future watch patch auto, Teddy Bluger. Few, uh, retro Future Watch to uh, 106, so sixth spot of Clint Costin. SPS Central of Anthony Mansa. Young Guns of Adam Johnson. Authentic Moments of Carey Price. A Ben Bishop Red. SP Essential Matt Murray. David Pasternak. Um, as long as the person's being interactive, yeah, it'd only be five minutes. Moment of Lung Fist. Generally, your card is pretty quick, so don't worry about that. Red of Eichel. Generally, it is. Spectrum of Tuka Rask. Spectrum level one, uh, Teddy Bluger. Future Watch Auto, number 788, Jack Hughes. 788, so in the eighth spot. Jack Hughes. Future Watch Auto Blake Lazat. Number 376. So six spot. And SP Essentials of Brad Marchand. There we go. Oh, uh, did you? That's awesome.
All right, so basically, if anyone's confused on how it works, I will explain it. We are going to open up the box. I'm going to tell all the items of what they are. Once that is done, you guys, I will do a random. The random then will be the order of the pick. So if you have number, if you're number one in the random, you get first pick. If you're number two, I'll do second pick, vice versa, all the way down. So, um, just so you guys know, again, I'm cleaning up some emails right now. I will, if everyone's cool with it, I'm just trying to be straight up up front with you guys. Since the box is massive, and I mean massive, I have to open it from the floor. So what I will do is I'll open it from the floor and bring the, the items up one by one. I just want to make a, a uh, sorry, I just want to make sure everyone is aware of that before uh, I open it up that there's no questions on why am I doing it that way or so on and so forth. So you guys cool with that just so I know. <laughs> I think when you see it, you'll understand what I'm saying. That box is not fitting on the table. And if it is, you ain't seeing anything but a cardboard box. So. All right. So give me one second, folks. All right. So I'll go grab the box. Give me one second. I do have one paper that still needs to come in. All right. Rod, if you're listening, can you just uh Email me the information because Dan's not getting back to me and I don't know where it is. So, Rod, if you could do that, that'd be great. They're a playmates. Yeah, you know what card? It's hilarious. There literally is two trains of thoughts on grading. People who want the tens guaranteed and get mad when their card is like a nine or nine and a half. It's like uh like cup. An average cup card's an eight and a half. 
An average SPX card is an eight and a half. An average Premier card is an eight or an eight and a half. It's funny how people just expect tens all the time, like it's like not like no problem. I was gonna say I want to legit grade my cards. Because the difference is no matter how much you you know anyone pretends they don't want that, when you're selling a high-end card, people are gonna inspect the living crap out of it. You want it to be legitly done. Nice, seventy thousand, not bad. It it is, yeah, Jeff. I don't disagree with that, but uh, and Rod, I need the CVD three digits on the back. If you don't mind, uh, just putting in the next in the next email. I appreciate you being quick on this. I just got to run through one payment, folks. I just need the th three digits on the back, sir. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start this bad boy off. So I hope you guys have fun with this one. Um, I hope that you guys can, uh, react for me on a lot of these things, because I am not a big, uh, celebrity type of person. So I do apologize on that. So if anyone wants to be like, holy crap, that's actually pretty big. That would be very helpful to me. Is that again, I'm not a big celebrity type of person. So eleven six three three. Thank you, The thing is, in all honesty, I, I won't even know who some of these people are. That's my issue. So either way, I'm just telling you guys. If you guys don't mind helping me, that'd be great. So again, just to be clear, I am going to open the product up. You then will be able to draft all the stuff, and I will do the random. And it'll be a random for the top 10 people, obviously. Whoever lands on number one will get the first pick. Number two, second pick, so on and so forth. I do appreciate if you guys are quicker on this. So that way you have respect for everyone else. But All right, so I'm going to do my best to make this look good in video, guys. Um, I'm going to move my cameras up a little higher. Just so I can get some of the bigger stuff in screen. Did that move up higher? I think it did, right? Either way, 11,633. I'll give you a solid seven. Thank you. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,633. We've got the vault leaf memorabilia. Vault. I don't want to open up that way. All right. Well, we got something here. I'll try to do this as neat as possible. I might as well do this one first. We've got an autograph. Is autograph from, is, do you know if everything's autographed in here, guys? I presume it would be. I can open it up. Oh, yeah, that's auto. An autographed helmet 
of Amari Cooper. I don't want to take it out, obviously. Preserve it as much as I can. Amari Cooper. That is a nice fun start. Definitely a bigger item to ship out. Just so you guys know, that's everything there. Looks like everything's packed up in here. All right. We've got an autographed mini helmet, Dwight Gooden. Autographed. Mini helmet, Dwight Gooden. Uh, I'll put it over here. Oh, this is cool. That is cool. That's really cool. We've got an autograph boxing glove. I don't know if these are used or not. I, I presume not. But an autographed boxing glove, Buster Douglas. Autograph, and it says Tyson KO. That's sweet. Buster Douglas. All right, let's see. See what else we got here. All right, it looks like the rest are gonna be a whole bunch of photos. <laughs> I'll say that just in case Dan wants it. <laughs> this is awesome. Our first one we've got. I feel like this will get some good reception. Is an autograph, dual autograph, <laughs> Cheech and Chong. Cheech and Chong, dual auto. That's sweet. I'm going to try not to spoil things for you guys. I do apologize if I do. Obviously, this thing is written on the front of it. That's why I wanted to turn it around quickly. It says right there, Cheech and Chong. So I'm trying to make sure. But obviously, I can't stop it all. All right. The next one. Is an autograph of Ben Roethlisberger. Any football fans? Ben Roethlisberger. Big Ben. That's pretty cool. I know this guy. He is Brett Hall. 8 by 10 photo. Autographed Brett Hall. <laughs> well, we got a hockey guy. <laughs> we know him. All right, I guess I'll have to open this up. Not the smoothest cut in the world. Oh, that's cool. 
We've got a PSA 9 postcard autographed by Rogers Hornsby. Rogers Hornsby PSA 9. That's the front of the postcard, by the way. That, I presume, if I had to guess, might go number one in the draft. But I you never know. So there we go. Now that, that's pretty sick. We've got an autograph. And obviously, sorry for the spoilers, as you guys can see. The Beauty and the Beast, Robbie Benson. I don't know how they got the uh, animal to sign that. <laughs> no, anyone? Beauty and the Beast. We've got a Milo Vintimaglia. Not going to lie, no idea who that is. So that is my one of ten I don't know. He's actually a prince. No idea. There we go. I'm glad you know. I do not know. And we've got... That's sick. That's a nice photo, too. Ozzy Smith. Beautiful photo. Wow. There we go, folks. All right, so there is the items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are ten items deep. All right, so give me one second. I will get things ready, folks. I just got to write down the names. And all I ask, ladies and gentlemen, is as the draft is going on, maybe when you know what your name is going to come up, Get your top two picks ready so that way we are good to go quickly. I also, after I do the draft order, I'm going to go heat up my food. So I think this is a good time because this is probably going to take 10, 15 minutes probably, 20 minutes maybe. So I figured now would be a good time to eat my food. Just so you guys know. I'm going to move everything now so that way I'm not touching anything because I'll be writing this on uh, the decoys. All right, so give me a few seconds. What's for dinner? Rice and uh, pork. Nothing too extravagant. Okay, so I'm going to do the random, then I'll give you guys a few minutes to think about it. And then I will do a sauce. Probably a bit of soy sauce, to be honest. But nothing too crazy. Sounds super boring. It is, I assure you. My food on here cannot be very extravagant. It has to be quick. And, uh, yeah, essentially quick. And quiet. It's not like I can have tacos on here. I don't think you guys would appreciate that, but... Is this part of the monster negativo, sir? All right, best of luck, 11,633. Good luck to everyone. Here we go. 
Here we go with the draft order, 11,633, everything three times. I wish you guys all the best three times. One, two, three. Pickles gets number one, eight feet down, number two, round number three, eight feet down, number four, Monty five, Rod six, SM five, seven, Snow eight, Rags nine, J Forbes ten. The good news is there's so much good stuff in this. So I'm pretty happy with the way it's going to balance out for everyone. That's the good news. It's not like one item that's just absolutely horrific in this. So, guys, I will be back literally in about a minute or two or two minutes. I was going to heat it up, and I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that, folks. I'll let the food calm down a bit. All right. So, who was number one? I think. I think. Pickles. Pickles. 
have you decided what the number one entry will be? Hornsby. Be -E a beautiful pick. Yeah, but you never know, right? Everyone has uh Okay, eight feet down, we'll take the Cooper helmet. No worries. Uh, brown followed by eight feet. So Brown, Cheech, and Chong. Love it. Mr. Eight Feet. No worries, take your time. Take your time, sir. So this is why uh, so we allocate these times to do it. So And it makes it nice and easy. All right. Jeff, so are you asking my opinion between those two or are you asking my opinion as a whole? Give you both. I would go Ozzy Smith, but again, me personally, I would go with the Buster Douglas.
And Monty, you'll be next up, by the way. Bill, in my opinion, though, and again, this is just my opinion, I would want it just because I would want to display it. I don't really care about the value because I would be reselling it. But again, if maybe look is down looking for the most money, that's a different scenario, which is more than fine. Ozzy Smith. Perfect. Monty. Monty followed by Rod Dill. Yeah, everyone's different, so. So Monty is taking uh, Buster Douglas. So Rod Dill, you are up. Um, what is left? We have the Big Ben Auto. We have the helmet of Dwight Gooden. We have the Brett Hall 8x10. We have the Roethlisberger 8x10. And the Milo Ventimiglia Auto. Ty, I, I am honestly, that's what I like about these vaults. It's like, I could care less if that glove sells for five bucks. I would put that bad boy into my basement. When people come over, would be like, that is freaking cool. All right, Rod is grabbing the Dwight Gooden. Autographed helmet. Yeah, definitely one of the biggest upsets. 100%. That thing's legendary. Smooke! Followed by Snow. <laughs> yeah, then you make him a fake backstory. No worries, Jeff. I appreciate you helping Spearhead it as well. This was fun. And Dale, I am not shocked or surprised. You'll take Big Ben? All right, thank you, sir. Next up is Snow followed by Rags. Snow will take the bread hall. Rags followed by Jay Forbes. Card, to be honest, I have no idea. Dan brought that in. I legit have no idea um, how if there's more out there. What the retail is on those. I 
Um, you got. Let's see. You have Milo, Benton Miglai, or uh, Bobby, or sorry, Robbie Benson. So Robbie Benson was the Beauty and the Beast. And Milo apparently is an actor or something. Honestly, the Beauty and the Beast is beautiful. Perfect. All right, and then Jay Forbes gets a Milo. Milo. All right. <coughs> oh, a rice stuck to my throat. It's the worst. Another win for Milos. All right, we got the random for Premier. And if you guys want to get the monster going, guys, I will need you to grab some spots pretty damn soon. If not, it will be a tomorrow project. So just give me a second, folks. Let me get everything ready here. Do you guys have any requests for tomorrow, by the way? Any requests? I can post everything for you guys. Here we go, 11,632. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Ramsey's got Columbus. Grimm's got Washington. TJ Florida. Black Cloud Anaheim. Chad has Rangers. Jimmy's got Toronto. Snow Boston. Tex Pittsburgh. Perp Arizona. TJ Winnipeg. Snow Colorado. Red's got Nashville. Spicy Vancouver. Sloppy St. Louis. Ramsey Detroit. Jones, Buffalo, Sean's got Dallas, Wingnut Islanders, Chavs has Philly, Ad's got Montreal, X-Tech, Tampa Bay, DJ or DG's got Chicago, Chavs has New Jersey, Jimmy, Minnesota, Ad's got Calgary, Jimmy, Carolina, Van City, LA, Capo, San Jose, One Day's Vegas, Nicholas has Ed Money, Sean's got Ottawa. Uh, uh, in terms of multi or SBA, I'm going to be working on that one. Probably a Tuesday project, just so you know, card. If I had to guess, probably Tuesday. And no worry. Thank you, guys. That's, that was fun. I like doing random stuff like that. So five minutes for trading. Got to eat my rice. How else can I keep my slender figure?
All right. So I'm going to go grab the case, folks. We kind of need the hockey cards, don't we? All right. <laughs> Bill, well, what do you say is number one then? Again, not that I really, really care about uh, value, but I feel like that's more of a monument piece type thing. Oh. Sorry, what are you saying about the Benson? Yeah, the Benson I thought was pretty big. I always figured Disney pieces always are. What do you? What did you? I don't know if you've done any research. What would that uh, horns be sell for? Roughly. Wow. That's pretty sweet. All right. Any trades, folks? Are we ready to rock and roll? I am guessing we are ready to rock and roll. All right. So 632. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Hmm, that's interesting. Here we go, 11,632. We've got the five box premiere break. Let's see some Obi. Oh my God, Pack. For the Capitals, Alex Ovechkin. Look at that. For the Devils, the Wa 399, Will Butcher. Will Butcher. For the Capitals, Number to 99, three color super Ricky patch auto, Madison Bowie. Madison Bowie. We've got a signature booklet, Brock Besser. For the Vancouver Canucks, Brock Besser. BB6. It'd be way better if he was eight. 
We've got for the Avalanche, JT Confer. JT Confer autograph. Dual jersey to 99 of Line and Ehlers for the Jets. And a Gibson for the Ducks. Uh, I would presume the best would be a case at yes. It took a hard L. He's a monster. Wow. We've got for the Nashville Predators, Philip Forsberg. For the Rangers, Philip Heedle. For the Ottawa Senators, Schlappick to two ninety nine. Schlappick, three color RPA. For the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Andre Fleury, base jersey. We've got a signature booklet for the Dallas Stars, Tyler Sagan. Tyler. Say again. We've got a Brock Besser jersey for the Canucks. Nick Merkley for the Coyotes. He wanted the trade away, Ottawa and Dallas. It's funny. St. Louis Blues, Ivan Barbashev. For the Oilers, Kaylor Yamamoto. That's a filthy swatch. To 299, Luke Coonan. Rookie patch auto, Luke Coonan. Beautiful swatch on that. Very nice. For the San Jose Sharks, Logan Couture. For the Oilers to 49, signature champions, Grand Fuhrer. Signature champions, Grant Fuhr. That's a nice card, too. Numbered one of ten, quad patch for the Maple Leafs, Marlo, Kadri, Riley, and JVR. Quad patch. And for the Florida Panthers, Jonathan Hubardo. So far, been a very solid case. A very solid case. We've got Vegas Golden Knights, 249, James Neal. St. Louis Blues, Ville Husso. For the Coyotes, to 99, Super Rookie Patch Auto, Christian Fisher. Christian Fisher, to 99. For the Panthers, the 49, Vincent Trocek. For the LA Kings, Adrian Kempe. Mm -hmm. 
Mega Patch for the Sharks. Number to 24, Martin Jones. Mega Patch, Martin Jones. And we've got for the Flyers, Samuel Morin. One of the worst starters now. For the Oilers to two, oh really? Number ninety six of two forty nine, Connor McDavid. For the Panthers, a three ninety nine, Owen Tippett. Owen Tippett. For the Coyotes, short print rookie patch auto to one ninety nine. Clayton Keller. Short print, Clayton Keller. For the Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon jersey. We've got number to 49 for the Ottawa Senators, Craig Anderson. Award winners. We've got a triple jersey to 75 of Marjan Bergeron Pasternak. 38. 38, by the way. So one off. And a Ville Husso for the Blues. All right. Sorry about the signature. That was a very mad case. Interesting. I was actually literally about to say I actually thought that was a pretty solid case. Again, you had the biggest rookie auto booklet. You had a quad patch out of 10 of the Maple Leafs. You had an Edmonton Oilers out of 49 autograph of Grant Fuhrer. The Sagan booklet. An okay mega patch. I thought it was a decent, again, nothing overwhelmingly crazy. It was a good, yeah. That's the best way I always, whenever I talk to anyone, it's always you got to look at it at the time it got released, right? But you think of players tank, for example. If you open 13, 14 and get a Yakupov, that probably was a case hit. They can't control how he does years down the road, sadly. Uh, yes, Zims, we will be. In some capacity, for sure. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone else who wants to get the ball rolling on uh, the, um, the Pedersen, Chancer, or the Monster? Yeah, Zim's, I don't know how it's going to be, to be honest, but we'll we'll definitely support it.
Hopefully it doesn't crash. Wouldn't that be funny? Sorry, it would not be funny. I feel really bad, but my God, imagine if that happened. All right, so anybody else, or is that it for the night? And if not, uh, I said I'll get the breaks and the videos up for you guys. Oh, pre-orders? Oh, no idea, Kyle. That is so far away on our list. I wouldn't even, with the exchange rate, the way the world's going, who knows the autographs? Who knows? But any final requests, by the way? Dale, have a good night, sir. Uh, well, normally it's around like 550 to 600 bucks. Is it that variable? Sadly, it is. When the first ones came out, I think they were like 399 or 449 So in about 10 years, it's gone up a couple hundred bucks. Uh, per box, obviously. You're saving for a case. The easiest number I would suggest, Kyle, is 3000 plus tax. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be weird. It will be weird. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it seems like uh, Canadian, yes, sir. Generally, that's what it is. Last year's came out, I think, at five sixty nine ninety nine plus taxes, to give you an idea, plus uh, times six. So, just to give you an idea. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get the videos up for you guys very shortly. Um, again, but with that being said, have a great night, everyone. Keep well, and we will see you guys tomorrow at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time.